<sighs> Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, I refused to say I killed Toriel, and hey, I just noticed the background changes. I refused to say that I killed Toriel, because that was not what I desired, that was not expected to happen considering how the fight was going. And I refuse to be the one responsible for it. But the game doesn't care what I think. She is gone now. I thought she was going to be like a main character that would last throughout the entire game. And like, it, I thought, I knew like a fight with her was going to happen at some point, but I thought it was going to be the last thing in the game, not the first. Oh my god, I don't know. <sighs> There's nothing I can do about it now. Let's just keep moving forward and deal with the consequences. So are we out of underground land now? Are we back on Earth? I guess we've always been on Earth, we've just been underground, but... Ooh, ambient noises, and I like how the trees are in the foreground, that looks really cool. And I do like how the background changes, like, part of me was kind of, I didn't like the purple background, I didn't think it would be good for, like, the entire game, but it actually does change throughout the game. I wonder if the other ones change as well. Uh, this is creepy. I can't move, I can't interact, I can't do anything, no, Jesus. Human. So, maybe I shouldn't have named myself Human, because I'm just gonna assume whenever it's capitalized. They're referring to the name I gave myself. I don't know, I just feel like I'm making it kind of confusing. So I apologize if I did that, but I had no idea what else to name this character, and I don't like being custom. Like, if I was playing Earthbound for the first time, I wouldn't want to name the character Jeffrey. Uh, a, because there's a different character named Jeff, and B, because I know the, the default names. I'm fine with it in Pokemon, but... Just because the, the characters in that are, like, so generic. Like, if they showed up in the anime, then I would be naming them after their anime counterparts. But, uh, for this, I'm just like, I named them whatever. And, I don't know, I hope you guys are okay with that. But whatever. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit hard and shake my hand. Is that your hand? Oh God, it's you. Oh, was there a whoopee cushion? I couldn't hear it because low volume, but uh, I know who this is and I know of theories behind him. I don't know if it's actual facts. I doubt it could be actual facts because I don't know if they could get away with selling this on like the eShop if this was actually integrated in the story, but like, it's a theory, I'm not gonna say any more than that, I'm aware of it, but I'm just gonna play this character the way I imagined him just by his appearance when I first saw him before I saw that theory. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you are a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. I don't have a say in the matter. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Okay. Wow, it actually is a very conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around inside your station! What are you even doing?! Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! 
I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend? Question mark? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton, yo! <laughs> Yes, of course, like, another reason why I wanted to play this game so bad is because, I don't know why, but, like, any game that involves any game or any show that involves skeletons or ghosts, I'm just all about, like, I don't know why, but I just absolutely adore it for whatever reason. And, of course, skeletons are known for making puns, because of the good old funny bone, am I right? What, they zoom in with the fruit? SONS! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! <laughs> it's because he can't change his expression because he's a skeleton. Sorry. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone, yo! <laughs> oh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it! Yo! <laughs> Are you sick of me yet? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you can come out now. That was a very conveniently shaped lamp. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my, of my hilarious jokes. I'm fine with that, honestly. Uh, just a conveniently shaped lamp. I was wondering why the lamp looked all wonky and stuff and why I was just sitting around. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Okay. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Oh boy, so... Sans and Papyrus. I knew of them. Like, it's so weird. I know of these characters, but I don't know their involvement in the story. Like, I thought Sans Papyrus and Toriel would be my besties for the entire game, but ends up having Toriel's dead already, and Sans and Sans seems to be helping us out, but it could change any minute now. I have no idea. And then Papyrus is trying to hunt us. Interesting. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and soon you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Also, is there text actually like Comic Sans and Papyrus font? I assume that's the joke, but whatever. Another save point. The convenience of that lamp still feel fills you with determination. Save the game at 107 minutes. I gotta count the minutes. Uh, this is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. <laughs> uh, use the box. I think I'm good for now. It's just I guess if we have too many items that we could change it. I was listening to the music. I was like, is that our uh, PS4 theme music? And hello, Snow Drake flutters in. Uh, what do we got? I can't do anything. I can only fight it, okay? Not allowed to- Jesus Christ! Ice puns are snow problem! What is with all these guys and puns? Like, not that I'm complaining, because I adore puns, but still. Okay, now I can go. Uh, I can't spare it. Let's laugh at his joke. We laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! What? Uh, oh geez, oh god. Oh man, no, I don't like how difficult this is getting. And spare, you won. Earn zero experience and 11 gold. Uh, okay, I'm gonna avoid going there for now. I don't know how Sans got around us, but just go over there. It's so weird, I'm saying his name in context. Like, it's just that I've known these characters for so long, I've wanted to play this game for so long, and now I know it. Sans and Papyrus and Toriel, I can actually say it. It's so weird, it means so much to me. 
It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. Decide not to call. I do have her phone. No one came. Now I'm sad. Send the line back out. Uh, reel it in. Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. Decide not to call. So what do I do with the cell phone for the rest of the game? Oh. So, as I was saying about Undyne... <laughs> my god. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Sans! Oh my god, is that... A human?! Eh. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in the front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna! I'll be so popular! 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 Him. Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case... Continue! Only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Oh, I don't want to have to kill Papyrus next to it. Where'd the rock go? Okay. But, yeah, it just, it seems like he's always yelling because his text is so sinking huge. So, I apologize, that's super annoying. Ice Cap uh, struts into view. These are all like Smash Bros introductions. Ice Cap struts into view. Uh, let's see, right down the middle, 49! I assume they want you to keep the stick equipped if you don't want to kill anyone. Oh, fine. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Huh, should I re-equip the stick? I'll just stop attacking right down the middle unless it's a boss. How about that? Absolutely no moving. I'm bored. <laughs> uh, go over here. Hello, friend. Did somebody move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Okay, is this where Doggo comes from? I doubt it. It's like, that'd be way too widespread. Like, I know Pupper and Doggo, but like, is it from this game? Who knows? 38 damage? Don't move on that. Oh, wait, if I just done nothing, then he wouldn't have seen- Oh, Jesus, what the fruit? I the fruit, the fruit! Oh, god darn it. Moving, moving, moving! And Doggo is confirming the moving object. I shouldn't pet it. I'm trying to, like, be... Nothing. Hmm. Question is, do I keep attacking or? Okay, it moved. It did not move. Okay, Doggo can't seem to find anything. Will it move this time? I get it. So just don't move. Even if there's a sword in the way, Doggo can't seem to find anything. Uh, pet the doggo. You pet doggo. What? I've been pet! Pet, 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 Doggo has been pet. Very happy. You won. You earned zero experience and 30 gold. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. We had to move in order to pet you, but... Okay, whatever. Oh, what? Hello? Is anybody there? No? And he's gone. Okay, here's some dog treats. Someone's been smoking dog- What the fruit? Smoking dog treats? 
Okay. Hello, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Okay, I just learned that from the other guy. It's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. You're making so things so confusing. Like, first they were blue and the red, now you have yellow text. It's so weird. Also, I don't know if it's a trap. Also, hello, skating land. What? I want to read the sign, though. Uh, go up here and... North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden Town, <laughs> and ice. Go up here. A snowman, look how happy. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Uh, sure. Thank you, good luck. You got the snowman piece. Uh, how long until it melts, though? Snowman piece. Heals 45 HP. Please take this to the end of the earth. Aww. So I could use this as a healing item, or I could take it to the end of the game, I assume. I'll try and keep it with me. I remember when Pokemon, uh, with Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia came out. I don't know why, but I got very attached to this one bee doof that you get at the beginning of the game. It's like inside the school area. So it was like a very specific bee doof that like I knew where to locate. And I kept it with me for the entire stinking game. So, like, you're supposed to have, like, an inventory of, like, six Pokemon that could travel with you. But I wound up just keeping this Bidoof with me. So, I only had five, technically, because I never actually used it for anything. I just wanted to have it with me. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And I went through the entire game like that. It was really weird. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses! Excuses! Oh, the human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible boatmobile! I mean electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap! Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think! Okay, you can go ahead now. Surprised that I didn't get shocked right in the first step. Or the second. Or the third. You know, I didn't really think about that fact that he was holding on to it. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has hold has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. And I assume that's the exact path I need to take. Hold this, please. <laughs> yeah, just throws in the air. Okay, try now! This is very silly and funny. <laughs> Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans! You will surely be confounded! I know I am! <laughs> Did you just moonwalk out of here? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle ready, his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Uh, hello, awkward shop owner. I understand why these aren't selling. Isn't the perfect what? Isn't it's the perfect weather for something cold? Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? Oh, that sounds nice, so sure. It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15G, okay. Here you go, only eight inventory space, my god. Here you go, have a super duper day, you got some nice cream. Uh, inventory, read the description. Nice cream heals 15 HP instead of a joke. The rapper says something nice, how nice. Sounds like a real nice item. Uh, hello can't cross the bridge or interesting it's just like a few pixels off where I can't walk right now but I can walk right now uh what does this do hello it's like a soccer ball it's really weird it's like the game is on oh no 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 I don't want the snowball to melt and die or something no 
It's just disappearing and stuff. How do I get it over here? If I can... Uh, is there anything at the end of this? Hmm. Oh, I assume it's like golf? And it comes back. Let's see if I could do this. Uh, Sand's just hanging out over there. We're just playing golf. It's easier to control the bigger it is, so just hurry up with it, and then I should be good to go. Uh, over here. And... Hole in one! Green, your concern and care for ball led you to a delicious victory. You are awarded 1G. Pfft. Okay. Nothing else left to do up here, so just run on over to Sands. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Really? How about 5,000G? 50,000G! That's my final offer! What? You don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. Uh, dude, look around you. I don't think I know. Uh, just a funny little dialogue thing. Hmm, what's the joke here? Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman, white rating can become yellow snow. Unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating, smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans, green rating, but it's red! Destroy at all costs, I'm so confused. His. Hers. Okay, we're at a dead end now. So what do you want us to do? I'm thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? No. You're right. I should charge way more than that. <laughs> hmm. What could I possibly do? Oh wait, is this the snow? No, because I can't get the snow out of this square thing. So I was going to be like, oh, I'll give the snow to Sands. But he doesn't accept it. Uh, hmm. Let's do that. Line it up pretty well. It's just so weird that like it... Rolls around like that. A blue flag. Blue. Hopping and twirling, your original style pulled you through. You are awarded 2G. Do I just have to do this over and over and over again? Purple flag. Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You are awarded t uh, 2G. What's the point? And I got a yellow one for getting it in at full size. Yellow, your surefire accuracy put an end to the mayhem of ball. You're awarded 3G. Oh. Was this always here? Am I just really stinking dumb? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow... snow decahedron. Okay. But, this was not here the entire time, was it? Am I just really stinking dumb? Probably. HUMAN! I hope you're ready for... SANS! Where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me, there's no way they could get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search. Uh, hey kids, can you help me solve Leah's puzzle? I see fall, fall, winter, spring, summer, monsters, skeletons, mermaid, robots, cigars, sig, and hot. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops, I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder, jumble or crossword? Uh, Sans wants me to humor Papyrus, so I'll say the jumble's harder. Also, I just like the word. Ha ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult! Yo ho ho ho! Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's no actual way to solve that, I don't think, so we're just gonna keep going. And we got a save point! We're at 30 minutes, but let's see. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. 
It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. Uh, what's with all this food that we can't even eat? It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. yo ho, -ho Papyrus. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. We're still thinking about that mouse. I shouldn't be level 5. Oh god. So we got to meet Sans and Papyrus in this episode. Oh, there's a mouse hole. Never mind. Uh, we got to meet Sans and Papyrus in this episode, the beloved duo of Undertale. And we're going to end it off right here. Next time on Undertale, we're going to continue on through Papyrus's evil plot to capture a human. Will he succeed? I have no idea. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. <laughs>